Welcome to this Waste Academy online lesson on the endocrine system versus the nervous system. This lesson covers Unit 3, Central and Peripheral Nervous System, Point 6. Today we'll cover the key differences between the endocrine and nervous systems, which are both messengers in your body. First, we'll do a quick refresher on the two systems and what they're comprised of. We'll include how they send messages, how fast they work, how long their effects last, how specific they are, and the interaction between the two systems. So just as a quick refresher, your endocrine system is made up of glands, including the pituitary gland, the thyroid, the adrenal glands, the islets in the pancreas, and the reproductive glands. Your nervous system, on the other hand, consists of your brain, your spinal cord, and your peripheral nerves, which reach out into the rest of your body. The endocrine system and the nervous system both work towards a common goal of sending messages around your body. However, they do this in very different ways, and these are differences that we're going to talk about today. First, let's talk about how fast their messages are. As you'll remember from the video on nerve impulses, the nervous system sends messages as electrical impulses through the body's nerve cells. This is really fast, like talking to your friend on the phone. The endocrine system, on the other hand, has to secrete hormones into your blood, which will then eventually reach their target as the blood circulates. This is a bit like throwing a soccer ball with some writing on it into a river, and waiting for it to get to your friend a kilometer away. Because the nervous system sends fast messages and the endocrine system sends slow ones, it makes sense that messages from the nervous system have an effect quickly, while endocrine system messages have an effect slowly. Carrying on from the same logic, we can explain how long the messages last in your body. An electrical signal will zip back and forth and create only a short-lived effect. Whereas if a hormone is secreted into the blood, it will stay there until the body breaks it down, which can take a while. This also means that endocrine system messages will have a much more widespread effect because they're circulated throughout the body, whereas a nervous system message will stay pretty localized. Messages from the nervous system and the endocrine system both have the same main goal, which is to keep us alive. The nervous system is responsible for monitoring what's going on outside the body and relaying that information. A lot of the time, it's the nervous system that tells the endocrine system to start its message. Endocrine messages have the advantage of easily affecting a lot of different systems at once, which is what makes them useful in the body. Alright, so that's the end of today's content on the endocrine system versus the nervous system. Today we covered messages from the nervous system are faster, more specific, and shorter lived than messages from the endocrine system. This is because nervous system messages are electrical impulses, whereas endocrine system messages are chemical secretions. That's all for today. Thanks guys and see you next lesson.